this patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 18 according to the patient the root canal was done a few years ago by her previous dentist tooth started to hurt a few weeks ago hurt a lot she went and saw her dentist and uh, was told that her tooth was abscessed and referred to me as you can see composite build up here previous root canal and a large periperitoneal here maybe something's happening here as well look at this angulation here look at this this is one of the roots and that's another root okay so this root here was filled to length this root here is overfilled is filled beyond the working length of the tooth as you can see but I'm doubtful that there is a peripagoral lucency here I think the mesioles are clean so overfilling filling beyond the working length doesn't cause an endodontic failure what does cause an endodontic failure bacteria bacteria cause endodontic failure a short fill a flush fill overfill doesn't cause endodontic failure again you can see that the mesial buccal is filled to length the mesiolingual is beyond filled obturated beyond the working length of the of the root of the canal so we went ahead and discussed options with the patient tried to see if we can save the tooth by redoing the root canal guarded prog prognosis or the alternative would be to extract the tooth and patient is young she said no i want to try to save the tooth these are the plastic thermophil or as some endodontists call it thermophilth plastic carriers that i removed from within the canals okay so that's them To confirm the working length of the mesial lingual canal because my apex locator was telling me it was 15 so we just went ahead and did a working length PA and you can see that the apex locator is correct was correct and the working length was indeed 15 and a half millimeters 15 15 and a half millimeters and take a look here's the post up we did this in one appointment mesiobuccal was 19 millimeters there was a mist there was a mist distal lingual canal system that we were able to capture and you can see right there and that's the mesiolingual the one that was 15 millimeters 15 and a half millimeters i trough for an mb2 and uh, i'm sorry i trough for a middle mesial canal uh, which is middle mesial canal for the lower molars is equivalent to the MB2 of the upper molars. I trough for a middle mesial canal, as you can see, and I thought I had a catch, but this is as far as I could go. And looking at this radiograph, it is apparent that this one is not there. It was just a, it was just a, um, a, a I think it was just a deep anatomy here and uh but it's there's no middle mesial there but look at all of this anatomy that we were able to capture look at all of this and as i said a, a distolingual canal system that was missed as you can see four canal systems everything went excellent we went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to her dentist for the permanent restoration but this is this is how you're supposed to do root canals not Root canals are not like you drill and, and shove these the thermophil carriers into the canals and take some x-rays and you're good to go. That's not, that's not how you do 
uh, root canal properly. Doing root canals properly requires knowledge, um, expertise, knowing what to look for, knowing what to do. Every step is calculated. You just can't do root canals like that and expect expect success. All right, so very good. This is another angulation and you can see all of this anatomy here. Look at all of this anatomy, all this anastomosis between the mesial canals, all of that.